Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another installment of the Viral Podcast. I'm your host, Chelsea Lynn. And I'm your host, Paige Jen. Welcome back to the program, rock fuckers. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for uh, just loving the Viral Podcast. Yeah, we appreciate you guys, but can I just get into something real quick? Right before we pressed record, you told me a wild fucking story. It was kind of... Go ahead and just repeat what you just said. They got to hear it. I think that Brett's grandma and grandpa put saran wrap all over the bed and put uh, baby oil all over it. And then I think his grandma fell off and broke her hip. But they were like old when they did this. In the their 80s, maybe? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, so it is true? It's true story, yeah. How do you know about this? Uh, my dad just told me. You so know. Your da- his dad told you him and then... Yeah, they just oiled up the bed, and Grandma got injured, and it was a <laughs> funny story. I didn't know they were that freaky till till then. Kinda. Saran wrap the bed and put baby. That's oil. a good idea. It would be like a slip and slide, and you could just grab the legs and just just sl- <laughs> slide her back, slide her forward, and ram it. And they were like eighty doing this. Mm-hmm. Wow, ahead of their time. Yeah, oh, big time. Oh yeah, what cool dudes and chicks. Do you have to start taking the pill? Like, do most men over... Like, when do you start taking the Viagra? I don't know. I don't know nothing about that. I I don't know. Me I don't know. Maybe, um... I'm sure some young dudes have to take it, and I'm sure, sure some old... I don't know. I think everybody's different. Yeah. You know? Huh. Can some people, I wonder, just keep going without it? Could. You know, maybe if they're, like, vegan or something. Need a lot of spinach. Mm-hmm. That's it's a possibility. Yeah. Who knows? I don't know enough about Viagra to really have an opinion on that. If you it, know, comment. Yeah. And it's something I can look into. You know, spare time. There's got to be a documentary on it. Viagra. <laughs> Viagra. No, hey, I wanted to bring something up real quick. I've been waiting to tell you guys on the pod. Um, I want to tell you off, but I go, I got to save this for the pod. Just a quick story, okay? This is fucking hilarious, and I can't believe I forgot to tell you because I've been off tour for, I don't know, a month or two now. I can't remember. But one of the last shows we had, we were in New Orleans, and um, these people came through the meet and greet, very sweet, um, very nice. We took pictures and everything, and they're about to walk off, and uh, the guy goes, tell her the story and she goes oh he goes just tell her she'll think it's funny I'm like what is it y'all are gonna die they said that they rent this house and I hope they're listening oh my god I hope you guys are listening they rent this house and have been there a while I guess and the owner has decided to sell it so the owner said hey um I'm bringing some people over to look at the house um while they were at work okay cool she said that she had my calendar in her kitchen all right and they also have cameras inside their house so they watch this motherfucker on camera when they're not home he comes in I guess he's kind of looking the place over before the people get there Mm -hmm. he sees the calendar takes it off the wall and hides it I mean rightfully so I guess you're showing a house you don't want titties in the on the wall (laughs) you know Shows the house. The people leave. This motherfucker, an older man, by the way, this motherfucker goes back to the kitchen, pulls the calendar out. Stop. Opens each month, pulls out his flip phone, and takes pictures. Flip phone? Of each month, and then pins it back up and leaves. Damn, he got a free calendar. Whoa. I go, that's the best thing I've ever heard in my life. I I would have done that too. That's hilarious. That's funny. Dude, that made my whole fucking day. Whole fucking day. I love that they caught it on camera. (laughs) Oh God, I'd love that footage. Yeah, you you (laughs) gotta get that. And you know, how did he not know he was being recorded? I don't know. But that'd be great promo to post that. A flip phone? (laughs) 
or redo it, you know, like yeah. make it, that'd be funny. Yeah. I bet they have the footage. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. The shit you catch on those cameras. Oh. oh boy. I know. If we had cameras, all you'd catch me doing was just, I'd just be walking around naked, eating, eating. farting, <laughs> eating, <laughs> Watching yeah. Dateline. Eating, farting, watching Dateline. That and, would be it. And then you would just be looking at your phone for like five hours straight <laughs> with your neck down. Yes. That's why I have neck problems. You are hurting. Yeah. Chelsea needs a massage. I was just talking about, I need to go to the chiropractor. I need a massage. I need a good loosening up. I need a day full of pampering is what I need. You need your arms like twisted behind oh. your back. Oh my God, that sounds so good. Oh, Mm -hmm. I just want someone to just fuck me up, you know, like crack my fucking back. I can't believe you get your neck cracked like that. Oh, oh, Mm. Oh, I'm getting horny just thinking about how good that would feel. Oh, there's nothing better. Do you have a DM of the day ski or no? Yes, I sure do, honey. What's the DM for the day, honey? Oh, what's the DM for the day, honey? You want me to go first? Oh, we'll tell (laughs) you. Yeah, you go. All right. This comes from. Kathy from Facebook. That's not good already. Mm -hmm. And she commented on a photo I posted and she said, I'm sorry, man, (laughs) but you're just not funny (laughs) at all. And you need to wash your hair. Hmm. She might be right about the hair (laughs) part, though. (laughs) She may be right about all of it. I don't know. Were you as Tammy? Or I have, I have, dude, I don't even know. Maybe. Because I took that picture a few days ago, saving it for the pod. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. You're just not funny at all and you need to wash your hair. She's not wrong. Kathy. Not wrong. Come wash her hair. What you got, honeys? Okay, this person said, have you ever licked your stained underwear? I have done it, honeys. Can't say I've ever had the desire to lick my stained underwear. Sometimes I smell it. What? My well, well, you know, like I think I did today, actually. Hold on. So this isn't like it wasn't for sexual. No, 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 no. But this wasn't like a smell test. Oh, there's some underwear. Let me see if these are clean or not. You took these off your body and smelled them. Mm-hmm. Just to see what I was working with. I do too sometimes though. What? <laughs> I've never even heard of that. You smell really? your own underwear? No, yours. Yeah. What? Oh. <laughs> I didn't know Just that. Just for fun. Are you That's serious, creepy. Brett? I did it in front of you the other day. Just yeah. for fun? I'm going to fucking puke. I didn't even fucking know that. Oh, really? Brett, are you serious? Well, I was just like, yeah. Smelled it. Whatever. Did it make you horny? <laughs> no, I just smelled it. it smelled good. Oh, <laughs> I mean. my God. Brett, lean back. I was on my huh. period the other day. I'm going to so puke. So that's even worse. They well, probably smelled good because I had a pad in between my pussy and the underwear. Well, that makes a big difference. A scented pad. So what did it smell like Got when you smelled and when you smelled it? Today? Yeah. Oh, gosh. It wasn't good. Well, mm, Well, that's you only wash your pussy with water, so. Well, you know, because I'm getting off my period once again. I swear my periods go for way too long. You have your, I swear to God, you, every, you have your period every fucking week. Mm-hmm. It lasts for like 10 days. Jesus. Oh my gosh. He came in me on my, like one of the last days of my period. I hate this podcast. I'm sorry. I, have to. <laughs> <laughs> I, when I went and sat on the toilet, it, it stayed in like a freaking, it looked like a lava lamp. Like <laughs> what? It, it was all just red and like just floating around in the toilet water. I was going to send you a pic. I'm literally getting sick. I'm. I was thinking, would people like if I posted that on my no, OnlyFans? No, no, no. Oh my God, I'm going to puke right now. If That's I said, bad. If I said blood warning, because I just want people to see what I'm going through. My eyes just started watering. Oh my God, the fact that you got up off the toilet to look at it makes me sick. And it plopped down. You knew what, oh. you knew it was jelly cum. I want to know if people are on my side on this. In the comments, well, YouTube, yeah. is this something that you guys love to hear about, love to do, love to look at, or are you like me and you're s- sick right now? I've read comments. People are like, Paige, I'm sorry, but I almost puked I'm telling my you, lunch when you said that. But I, I can't. We got to move on, honestly. Like, my stomach hurts right now thinking about that. Come blood lava lamp. 
<laughs> come, I can't. That's gross me out. She made me come look at it too. Oh so. my god! She made me come look at I it. I left it. If I I ever have something cool come out of me, I just leave it in the toilet so somebody sees it. I'm gonna. <laughs> Very interesting stains too, kind of. No, I was okay. I'm seriously about to get sick. I'm not even kidding. I'm. <laughs> my stomach's. <laughs> Let's talk about something else. Okay, so the rock fucker of the week leaned oh, forward. Yeah. What? <laughs> okay. I I hate to be. I hate to in that thing, but I'm like sick to my stomach. Oh, you're fine. Yeah, I'll be I'll, I'll be all right. Am I being dramatic? You think? <sighs> I, it does not gross me out to talk about. You know what? I mean, I've said this before on this pod. Things used to not gross me out, and I don't know what it is, man. I hit thirty years old, and stuff just started grossing me like the littlest things. But that's not the littlest things. That's pretty disgusting. I was super weird like you. Like when I saw a cow get shot in the head 15 times when I was <laughs> little. I'm not, I'm sorry. I'm, I not couldn't, la- <laughs> I'm laughing at the way you said that so calmly. Well, I couldn't even eat red vine licorice for like two years because it just, I thought of blood. Oh and my like, God. it ruined me for a minute. Wow. It really got you. And then I didn't eat meat for still. You still don't eat meat. Yeah. So I guess I could. Do huh. Some. Yeah. Okay, well, Love uh, you. we did the DM of the day. You read your DM of the day. Um, and then we have lean for. Oh, gosh. Do I need to be starting this timer? Go, or Brett. You're good? Okay, so lately I'm a little confused about sports. Um, baseball, they said they weren't going to test for steroids at the beginning of the year. For like five years, they said they weren't going to test. And then uh, Tat- or Fernando Tatis got busted for steroids. So that's kind of weird, right? They, s- they said they're not going to test, but then he gets busted. So um, Basketball. We should have a league where three points is a dunk. That'd be a pretty good league, okay? Football, how come there's not, like, four quarterbacks? Like, you know, you're supposed to have seven people on the line of scrimmage. Why not just have, like, four guys running around, throw it to each other, and just score? Rather than having to wait, like, you know, a couple quarters to score, okay? Um, oh, one thing I wanted to discuss were words. So, a, a photo, a photograph, and an image, those are all three different things. A photo is a photo. You know, a photograph is basically a photo. But if you ever see an image, that's actually an imagination. Brett, this is your dad. Time's up. Lean back. <laughs> Brett, this is your dad. Time's up. Lean back. Sounds like Russ is in an auditorium. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brett, that was a great lean forward segment. I'd love to hear more about the word thing on the next lean forward segment. That was great. Okay, cool. That was interesting. The other stuff, I have no clue what you were teaser. talking about. Yeah. Right. Everything else you said, I have no clue what you were talking about. But the, the word thing I was kind of interested in. Cool. Yeah, you did great. Thank you. Okay, now lean back. Okay. And, <laughs> and we do have a rock fucker of the week. I can't believe we just leave people like, the, you know, people are actually interested in the lean forward and then get fucking cut off. I'll do a reel. Oh, dude, people want like, people want like, uh, two minutes, two minutes of lean forward, which That's, we, which we may do. It's just kind of a minute too much. You think so? 30 seconds. It's just a, a minute more than the minute. That's true. Start segments on uh, TikTok. I was thinking mm. a good segment would be if Maggie tries to, cause Maggie explains shit so funny. She should try to explain stuff to us, and we should guess. Like, we should try to guess, and then Brett okay. can be on his own team. And then we should, like, whoever loses should maybe have to, like, do a dare maybe out in public. or Lick somebody's butthole or something? Yeah. Like, Mag- like it could be an egg or something, and Maggie could just be trying, okay, so <laughs> it's what? And, you, know. you love Maggie's accent. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. We could do that for show. We can do anything we want, you guys. This is our podcast. Holy shit. You're yeah. right. Um, rock fucker of the week is Caitlin Neuro from Facebook. 
Um, Caitlin. Oh, Mag- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin Maggie will be reaching out to you to get your T-shirt size and address. You've won a T-shirt, honeys, from the ValorPodcast.co, and you are Rock Fucker of the Week. Congratulations. Ooh. Woohoo. Hell yeah, Caitlin. Hell yes, honeys. Thank you for the support. Thank um, you. That was from uh, Facebook, so hell yeah. Love you. Love you, honeys. And uh, so you want to get into some questions? Do you got anything else you want to say? If you want to be Rock Fucker of the Week, go go to our platforms and just comment. Interact. With, with your fingers and stuff. Interact. You know, do something else with your fingers besides sticking them up your butthole. Mm-hmm. Just every once in a while. Yeah. You know? Yeah, sometimes just click. Click things. Do other things. Hi, right? lady. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. Like, click it. Wow, Brett. <laughs> you good? <laughs> <laughs> you good? Dude, the camera's got to go on. I'm doing <laughs> Brett, you okay over there? Yeah, I was just playing around. Blowfish. Yeah. Pufferfish. Are, are you going <laughs> to... Brett, it made me happy to see you laugh like that. Is that cheesy of me? No, it's fun. It made me happy, but the (laughs) the fucking laugh, dude. I know. I know. know. Brett, you're doing good. Thank you. All right. We're ready for the first question. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Need your advice on something or just your flat out straight ass opinion on something. Um, Recently moved into a new neighborhood. Um, Became good friends with the couple across the street. Um, great, you know, love to hang out with them, have a good old time. Um, but recently she starts to really monitor when my family leaves the house because every damn house built nowadays has fucking cameras on their fucking houses. So she will buy and say things like, where's your husband going? And, um, why was your husband talking to so-and-so or things, shitty things like that. And so do you find it fucking odd? And how do I tell this bitch straight out? Like, get your fucking googly eyes off my house and stop texting me with your bullshit. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. That's one of the weirdest things I've ever heard. I would definitely speak with the woman. Oh, next test, next text message I got that said, where's your husband going or where are you guys going? I would literally, I would probably literally say, don't fucking worry about it. She'd hear a knock at the door probably. Well, she'd see you coming. Yeah, she'd be <laughs> she'd prepared. Know. She'd be ready. She'd be there ready. She'd probably just you would, open the door. No, you wouldn't have to knock. That bitch would open yeah. that door when you were walking up. She's watching everybody. How, That's... how annoying. She's like, hey, can, are you going to the grocery store? <laughs> She, she leaves the house. Hey, are you, if you're heading to Kroger, could you bring <laughs> could you bring me back a, tw- a twelve pack of? No I mean, knew. what? How? I could never. Number one, keep tabs on someone mm-hmm. like that. Number two, text them and ask where they're going. Where's your husband going? Are, That's fucking weird. <laughs> that would piss me the fuck off. I'd be so irritated. I would. That would piss me the fuck off. You can't even go out in your front yard and, like, just look at your plants without her being like, what you doing? <laughs> you watered them yesterday. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> like, what? That was my throat. <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> it does that every pod, dude. I would, what would you seriously do? Oh, I would, I would literally text her back and say, don't fucking worry about it. I wonder if they're, like, kind of friends or... What? Doesn't matter. But still, like. Friends, not for, I don't give a fuck. Don't fucking worry about it. Yeah. And if you don't want to be that rude about it, which I would love to do, but if you don't want to be that rude about it, just ignore it. Every time she asks about, ignore it. You say ignore it. I would just be like, hey, I'd appreciate <laughs> if you didn't act like my mother. <laughs> you have more patience than me. I would, I would, I would. Well, she wants to be nice about it, but still say something yeah. so she doesn't keep fucking... I mean, you leave your house at least three, four times a day. Getting that many texts, I'd be like... <laughs> like, is this bitch not... What is she doing just walking, just watching her cameras, looking at everybody? That is so weird. Or I would get a camera, and every time anybody leaves her house or does anything, I'd be like, I would overly do it. Like, Stop. <laughs> That's a good idea. To her? Yeah. Yeah, do it back. 
She probably never leaves, though. That's funny. Oh, yeah. She's got to stay and watch the camera. <laughs> That's funny, though. Where are you going? Where's your husband going? Oh, my God. I'd be so... Oh, honeys. You got to say something to her. You have to. It's going to explode, and you're all going to end up on Snapped if you don't. Gosh, imagine having neighbors like that. That's why I bought 100 acres. Yeah, smart thinking. <sighs> my neighbors can see inside my house yeah. at nighttime. There's seven windows in my living room, and you can see straight in. In the daytime, you can't. At nighttime, you can see everything. Put some sheets up, because that'd bother me. I wouldn't be able to rest. In my kitchen, it's covered in windows. My bedroom, windows. There's a window in my closet. They Everyone's sold us on seen, the blinds, too. Everyone's seen my were. asshole. The yeah. blinds are freaking awesome. Yeah. You know, you just... Yeah. Zroop. But isn't that... Mm-hmm. I do not feel good at night no. at home. When I'm, at, when I'm home at night, mm-hmm. I can't have blinds open. In, oh, no. Any, I'm, even if nobody... It doesn't matter. I always feel like someone's looking in. I legitimately yeah. <laughs> feel like I live in a fucking fishbowl. Honey, you get put you up some uh what's it called? Some tin foil. Tin foil in there. That's what you did. I know. I'll always be trash. Chelsea tinfoiled all of her fucking windows. Yeah. <coughs> Why would I not? I don't want no sun coming in. I want it to be dark and cold in this house. Dark and cold. You don't want no light coming in. Uh uh-uh. uh. And you'll just sleep forever. If I wanted light, I'd go out standing in the front yard. <laughs> yeah. I like that natural light, though. No, I do t- sometimes, but no, I I like a good, I like it dark and cold and. Like a oh, bear cave? Yeah. Yep. Oh, honeys, say something to that bitch. That's weird. Yep. Get a tracker on her. Yeah. Love ya. Put a tracker on her car. Don't do that. <laughs> Hello. And welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. If you've taken a look around lately and have noticed that everything is really expensive, well, it's still nice to know that Adam and Eve is offering 50% off and free shipping. That's 50% off of any adventurous new toy that's going to be inserted into you or any slippery dippery lube or just about anything that you desire our podcast listeners will get 50 percent off almost any item just use code viral at checkout and you will get 50 percent off and free shipping all will be packaged and sent discreetly for free not only will you save money on gas date nights movies going to the dispensary but this item will be the item that will save you money and make you feel good all at the same time. So go to adamandeve.com, select any one item, use code VIRAL, V-I-R-A-L. This is an exclusive offer specific for this podcast. So be sure to support our show and use this code VIRAL to get you not just the 50% off, but also the 100% Free shipping. Code viral. Go to adamandeve.com right now. Oh, yeah. Hey, honey. Taco God here. So recently, um, well, I guess last year, we purchased a bidet attachment to our toilet. And so a year later now, I have found that I spent a little too much time, and I really enjoy turning it on full blast and enough that I can feel, feel my anal cavity with water, and I just love to sit and shoot it out. I think I spend like 15 to 20 minutes extra on the toilet at this point. Anybody else out there that loves to fill their asshole with water? This motherfucker's got the cleanest asshole in the country. He (laughs) fills it up and spits it out. He was dead serious when he said, "Does does anyone else out there love to fill their anal cavity with water? I think the only thing that does that is a syringe. Fills it up, spits it out. I don't think people do that. That bidet's got... Think about how powerful that bidet is to shoot water straight up into your butthole. Or think how, how loose, loose that his ass asshole yeah. is. <laughs> I'm not thinking of that. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, no, his asshole's loose. To be able to get all that in there and then push it out. He must open it. Yeah, yeah he, he's doing the battling. Open the ass. Yeah. Yeah. 
Because yours doesn't do that, huh? No, even if you put it on full blast, it doesn't. Damn. But the kids do love it. They spend a lot of time squirting. What? Their assholes. Damn. <laughs> the kids spend a lot of time squirting the bidet on their assholes. I'll go in there and I'm like, why are y'all still on the toilet? Well, now we okay, know. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. He's not alone. He's my, not alone. My nieces do it too. <laughs> The only time my asshole's ever been filled with water was when I went uh, wakeboarding. Every time I fell, my asshole would get filled up with water. That's when I did my video on the toilet going... Hold on. Because I could press in on my stomach and farts would just come shooting out. Interesting. Wasn't that fart night? Yeah. No other times. No, Mm. I never even knew that was a thing. If you wakeboard and you fall a lot on your ass, that water is going up your hole. Didn't feel good, though. Like, it felt like diarrhea. I don't think I've ever had water up my asshole. You will. I can't think of a time. (sighs) Hmm. I don't know. Water slides. Well, that goes up my pussy hole. Yeah. Really? Big time. But I also haven't done that since I was, like, 14. Yeah. (laughs) Born and done. (laughs) One and done. <laughs> One and done. I used to go to the most wild water parks. It was called Lake Dolores, I think. Huh? Lake Dolores, it got shut down. People were like dying and shit. Go oh. flying off. Oh my gosh. No. Nope. Not at all. I can't even do Six Flags or stuff like that. Mm-mm. I can't. The lines and then the whole. The heat, the lines, the fear of death. Can't do it. Wow. So apparently this guy's not alone. People love to shoot water up their butthole. I think it feels good when you hold in your poop sometimes. No. What? Sometimes my day doesn't get started until I poop. Well, that's true, but to hold it in? I feel like I hold my poop in a little longer than I should. Why? Um, And your pee, though. She just likes to hold it in. I don't know. That's not good for you, honeys. Oh. She doesn't like to get up. She's in, the, in that knit stage, you know. <laughs> like She's just get... knitting. If I'm doing something, I'll just hold in my poop for a little extra longer, and then I'm like, I have to poop, I have to poop. I keep saying it, and then it kind of feels good, though, to hold it in. Brett, bring her a bedpan. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I could just shit in it? Honeys, yeah, you just sit there and shit. You don't even got to get up. <laughs> That'd be cool. Yeah, she would like that, I think. <laughs> if you're knitting and you don't want to get up? Just Brett. Bedpan? Bring my bedpan. <laughs> I'll get you one for your birthday. Cool. <laughs> the smell, because it doesn't go in water. Ooh. If you yeah. shit in that bedpan, and it's all sticky. Oh, God. Do you put a liner in it? No. It's just a pan. We will, though. We'll put a liner. Do you think anybody's ever used a bedpan to cook food in after what? they've shit in it? Why? Where did that come <laughs> from? Where the fuck did that thought come from? I could picture you doing that. <laughs> Do I look like the kind of person? <laughs> yeah, you fucked the squash and fed it to your grandma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Gotti. <laughs> she got you on that Gotti. one. Ooh, I'm smelling Brett's pits from over here. I just got a big whiff. Really? I'm not even kidding. I'm not even Taco kidding. Taco meat. Taco seasoning. <laughs> mm. He smells like a freshly opened thing of taco seasoning. Ooh, Brett, me, keep, uh, your, yeah. keep your Brad. arms down. Call, call you Brad? Yeah. Brad. Brad Pitt. Pitt. Yeah. Brad Taco Pitt. Think of Maggie right now. It's, I've been smelling it. I've been smelling it. We're going to have a new rule. Deodorant or something before you walk into this room. Bathe. Before, mm. Or bathe. Before you come to That'd work. That'd be nice. He took a There's shower a, right before yeah, you picked us up. How does that happen? But I didn't use soap. I just water. Well, I know. mean, I could wash my pussy really good and five minutes later that thing's stinking. Yeah. So... Um, from your room to the podcast room. <laughs> I've never smelled like taco meat, though. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. I might... thought it smelled like that. B.O., I've always said <sighs> taco seasoning. We are in a small room right now. It's it's kind of hot, and Brett smells like taco seasoning. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Remember when we all were smelling Maggie's pussy in the back of your car? Yeah. Yeah, I've got that on my OnlyFans <laughs> vlog. That's on our OnlyFans vlog. Oh yeah, and we got some guy walking down the street. We tried to get him to do it, but he wasn't. He wasn't falling for it. Well, he's saying that we were recording, and he goes, "Ah." Oh, he rode up on his I bike, ready want- to smell, and then yeah, 
Oh, he was all for it until he seen yeah. that we were recording. Yeah. That's His true. wife and kids were at home. <laughs> hey, I'm going to run to the store real quick. <laughs> Smells I'm a gonna, pussy I'm on the way. Run, I'm going to run to the store real quick. His wife sees him on a vlog. <laughs> Smelling Maggie's pussy in the back of your freaking Jeep trunk. Holy shit. Oh, God. We're all just taking turns. Oh, that was a rough one. That was a rough, sweaty day. Oh, God. I feel like every every day is a rough, sweaty day for me. Yeah. <sighs> Honestly. Well, we love you. <laughs> water, water boy. We love you, water boy. How's it going? Hi, ladies. Um, I know that on one of the last podcasts, you guys were talking about love languages. And I know that you mentioned Greg was more um, of a physical touch. And so I was just curious what your love language is, Chelsea and Paige. Um, yeah, just let me know. Love you guys. Love you, honeys. Love you. So let, so do you know what I'm talking about, Paige, when I say love languages? Yeah. Um, there, isn't there like five or seven of them or something? Yes. Brett tries to tell them to me all the time. He um, thinks mine is uh, touch. Yours probably is touch. You, you love. To be touched. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Um, so the five love languages, everyone has a love language. Um, they are words of affirmation. So like, do you like to be told nice things? You know, like you're doing great. You're doing like, you're, you're doing amazing. You look beautiful today. Is your thing words, quality time, dates, spending time together, physical touch. This does not include sex. So take sex out of it. Holding hands, kissing. caressing, kissing, acts of service, um, you know, doing things for you. Hey, I went and got your oil changed. Would you like me to make you a plate of dinner or stuff like that? Or, or receiving gifts. So your partner buying things for you. Um, everyone likes a little bit of all of those, but you usually people have one specific one that's the most important to you. Um. Would you say yours is physical touch? Touch, and, I mean, it really helps out when he does some acts yeah. of kindness. Like, fuck, dude, if he... Acts of service? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would love if he would make me some dinner. Uh, yeah. And not have you have to worry about it? He will only make things like he will eat. I've noticed, like, I'll make hamburger, or, you know, meat and stuff. But he would never just be like, oh, I'm going to go make broccoli. Yeah. And, you know, unless he has to be involved. I've noticed that one. Hmm. No, I made oatmeal the other night and didn't have any. So that's oh. erroneous. Yeah. Oh, ooh, used yeah. a big word there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, that's oatmeal. He would never just, <laughs> like, he, I was telling him. You love oatmeal. Telling though. him, like, he would just never think to be like, oh, I'm going to make Paige a nice dinner yeah. of something she enjoys like it always has to be something yeah. he also even though i will go out of my way and cook like me or whatever the hell and not even take a bite brent what do you think about one of these days cooking her a nice dinner i i do that <sighs> no. he's not listening no he to doesn't you. i brent, do make you dinners right you're not listening but you to don't her. get yeah that's my life <laughs> <laughs> you're not listening to her she just said that you don't think about what she wants and make her a nice dinner but i know what she wants and I do make her nice dinners. Does he? No? Okay, she says you don't. Hmm. He'll heat up some stuff or, you know, put something in the air fryer and he thinks, oh my gosh, what I about, just uh, did a five fucking you course love meal. Banana pancakes. I don't love banana pancakes. I make them for you all the time. Does he? He got you there? Well, he also eats the pancakes. Yeah. You don't? No. I'm sometimes saying, I don't. I'm saying like yeah. nothing that he would actually. Um, <laughs> yeah. Do you get what I mean? I do. And it's not like a big fucking problem, no. honestly, but like. But it would be I, nice every once But I off. thought of that like, okay, like. Like. I wish somebody would just cook me a meal that I fucking don't feel like making right now because I'm doing five million other things. Brett, would you ever plan plan a nice meal, go to the grocery store on your own, come home, cook her a nice big meal, have like a date night in and clean the dishes when you're done? I mean, Absolutely. Sounds like a great day that's kind of re- repeats itself already. Oh, well, he does this every day, so. <laughs> he's not going to give it to you. No, he's not. We're not getting it, I Paige. made you that uh, pasta the other night that you love with the 
heavy whipped cream and the, the veggies and stuff. And Had to walk him through the whole process because he... <laughs> So you're what you're saying, Brett, need, is what you're saying is you're trying. I need to make more of what she likes more often. Yeah. And not all the time. I just think yeah. it'd be nice one time to be Yeah. To have that. But Brett, what is your love language? I would probably say words of affirmation. Mm-hmm. I like to know everything's okay. Oh. You know? Yeah. He'll I, note he'll remember everything. Everything anybody says about him that's positive, but Aww. if he, but if it's like, hey, will you please listen to me? The like you're trying to tell him how you feel. The motherfucker does not rem- <laughs> <laughs> remember <laughs> any of that. But he'll hmm. be like, back in uh, fifth grade, my teacher told me that I was oh wow a great kid. You know, he'll wow. remember all of that. Huh. Brett, do you mm. think Paige and I are good bosses with telling you when you're doing great? Because I feel like I go, yeah. I feel like I can, I feel like I sensed that your love language, and I know it's mm. like, you know, we're not in a relationship, mm. but I could tell that you really thrive off of like positive feedback. So when you are doing good, I'll go out of my way to make sure that you know that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. What's yours? That. I would say mine is um, acts of service. So Greg and I were just at um, Wingstop, and we're eating these bomb ass wings. God, that sounds so good right now. Oh God, they had these new honey wings. Anyway, they shove them up in their pussy. Oh God, not hooters. Oh God, it was so good. <laughs> anyway, so I had a drink, and I went to drink it, and it like, you know, when it's done, and it makes that that ice. It, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was done with it, and Greg heard that, and before I could even put it down, he got up and filled my drink and brought it back Aww. and like that made me happy and i told him thank you like that's stuff like that oh, it's so nice i love that he knew my drink was empty and he didn't even ask or nothing he got up and got me more to drink yeah not having to get up is nice i hate getting up <laughs> <laughs> i hate it i hate it <laughs> i hate it <laughs> i hate getting up. i hate it that doesn't like to me that's i don't know that doesn't do anything for you? No, I, I fucking love that. Yeah. But like to be a like a love language, I don't know. It kind of seems like that's just, you know. You should do it anyway. It just feels like you're kind of like, bo- not bossy, but just like go do this, go do that. Like how is that? I don't know. Yeah. Because hmm. do you do that stuff for him or? I you? do. Yeah. Not all, not all the time. I don't like cert like hand him, you know, wait, you know, hand and foot, but yeah, I will. I'll make him if I'm cooking, I'll make him a plate. He loves that. He if I'm cooking and I make him a plate, he will like yes. He loves that shit. That's how we got started talking about it the other day. Like I used to make him fucking plates of food. Yeah. All the almost every meal. Have it looking all fancy, put some sriracha smiley faces, uh-huh. try to make it all cute. And then I was like, you know what? I never get this treatment Mm -hmm. and I'm doing so much Mm -hmm. and I feel like I should not do that anymore. Like I deserve it maybe sometime, but yeah. I mean, we do do have hot girl breakfast every day. I thought mashed up avocados on toast. (laughs) Yeah. With the onions and the jalapenos. So it sounds like you're trying. It's just not good enough. Maybe. Yeah. (laughs) Very true. Very true. Just, you know, maybe switch it up. Maybe put a fried egg on there or something. Uh, just vegan over there, you know. No. Veg- I don't, you don't, like, I don't eggs. like eggs. Yeah, that's I right. went through a phase, but not anymore. Yeah, you don't right. like them. Maggie, what's your love language? I would say acts of service. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. When I, I agree. Brett's what? good at on acts of service. Yeah. But he would never just do it on his own. I feel like I would have to explain it, and then he would well, go, the, that's not an act of service. Oh, they have to do it without you telling yeah, at, or asking? I, yeah. So he heard that fucking slurp, and he Greg, grabbed oh, I didn't, that cup. I did not ask Greg to get me another. He heard me slurp, and his cup was full. And the sweet angel got up, got me. Yeah, oh, and I thought, that's and I, sweet. I that literally sounds. was like, that's really nice. And I told him, I go, that's really sweet. Stuff like that, yeah. Yeah. But I'm, you know what? I'm sure if I would have said, hey, can you get me more? I'm sure, you know, he would have and it would have been nice. But the fact that I didn't have to ask was really nice. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 
Greg gets shit done. If I, he, he will go, if my car needs an oil change, if it is, I mean, I don't have to ask. He's like, I went to your car to get an oil change. I went and did it. Like it's, that would be helpful. Yeah. It's nice. It's like almost having an assistant. I don't have to ask him to do nothing. Take out the trash. Never asked him cause it's already done when it, when it needs to be done. Yeah. I've never had to ask him to take out the trash. Oh, he's on recycling. I don't have. Yeah, mm-hmm. I feel bad for him because you guys will get so much packages and Amazon. Not and that, anymore. That thing is stacking, and Gre- I know Greg. I bet he's one. loving that. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I I do all. I don't go to Walmart. I don't go to Target. I order from Amazon. And Greg smashes all those boxes. He that motherfucker recycles. Yeah. Do they recycle here in Nashville? I don't. Yeah. They do. I went to the center the other day. Yep, and dropped off uh, a lot of boxes. I still need to set up a trash service for this house. I gotta do that. Yeah, we don't have a trash. It doesn't service. have a bin. Mm-mm. Where was he taking all his trash? The guys doing Beth's apartment downstairs. They had a trailer. We were putting all the trash on the trailer. Oh, but they're gone. Are they done? I, almost. I think so. Oh yeah. wow! Damn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Do you hear Chili snoring? I hear so chill- loud. The babies are in here and they're they're sleeping and snoring. Like that's all I can hear. Oh Me gosh. too. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. I love that question. Me too. That was a good one. Yeah. And a good uh just a good talk. Yeah. yeah. Does uh Domino's count as making a meal? Like no. You taking the initiative no. to order me in order and get it? I would say yeah. With my card. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> no. 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 No, no. no. If I asked Brett like could you go get me this? He'd be like, he would throw up his hands and go, where is, what? <laughs> I asked him the other day in the shower. If I ask him for anything in the shower, he goes, why didn't you think about this before you got in the shower? Because mm. I fucking thought of it now. She yeah. could have done a little better every time, I feel yeah. like. Well, you we can, can only forget every time so long. We can like, all do better. Yeah, but that's Chelsea, true. come on, you know. <laughs> we can all do better. <laughs> Love yeah. you, Brett. Thank you. Love you too. For all your acts of service, for real. That and was a words of affirmation. Yeah. We're, yeah, do- we're, all, we're all doing good here. Yeah. From cringing at the pump to getting an eye-popping check at your favorite restaurant, inflation is hitting us all where it hurts. And it really hurts. That's why I started using Upside. Upside is an incredible app for anybody who buys groceries, dines out, buys gas. With every purchase, I'm earning cash back. Thanks to Upside. When I get my Upside cash back, you know I spend that at Taco Bell. And the app is incredibly easy to use. To get started, download the free Upside app in the App Store or Google Play. Use my promo code VIRAL and get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. Next, claim an offer for whatever you're buying on Upside. Check in at the business, pay as usual with a debit or credit card, and get paid. In comparison to credit card rewards or loyalty programs, you can earn three times more cash back with Upside. You can cash out anytime to your bank account, PayPal, or an e-gift card for Amazon and other brands. Upside users are earning more than a million dollars every week. That's probably why they have a 4.8 star rating on the App Store. Download the free Upside app and use promo code VIRAL to get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. That's $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more using promo code VIRAL. Hey, ladies. Brett. So I just wanted to get a little advice. Um, I really don't know. I've talked to my friends, but they all think I'm psychotic. But anyway, so um, here in the eastern uh, part of the United States, we have per- maybe in the west too, but here in the east, um, we have gay campgrounds. So basically, they're campgrounds where only gay men come. Um, they're clothing optional. Um, they have like um, some areas set up for sex. You can tent camp. They have cabins, a lodge, a bunch of stuff. Anyway, so I've been going for a few months, about every other week. Well, three weeks ago, I met this guy. And most of the people there are couples um, in open relationships. But I met this guy. He's married, which, again, is fine. So I met him in one of the sex places, and we had a good time. And then the next day, you know, we had an attraction to each other. So he come and spent the night with me in my cabin. Well, then he gave me his number, or I gave him mine, I'm not sure. Um, And we texted, you know, basically every day. Well, no, every day. Um, 
not all day long, but quite a bit. And for weeks, and then when I went back this last week, I saw him again, and he spent the night with me. Um, but now I'm at a point where I'm starting to get some sort of feelings that I know that I can't have because this open relationship that most people have, they only have it at camp. So, and we're far away, but I'm going back this week again, but I'm getting to the point now, like, sometimes if he doesn't text back fast enough, I don't say anything, but I start to get insecure about myself. Um, the last time we were there, he spent one of the two nights with me. I'm not sure where he was at the other night. So I got a little bit jealous there, and I know that I have no right to be that way, but I just want to know, should I pull the plug, keep going to camp and make some more friends and, and cut him off, or just set the expectations to myself that, hey, this is just a camp thing. If y'all talk outside of it, you know, it's not ever going to turn into anything, which I'm fine being single. I just wasn't expecting to catch feelings. Um, it's the cuddles for me. When someone cuddles, normally I just, you know, hook up and we part ways. But he cuddled and spent the night, and so it made it different. And so just just wanted to get your take. Thanks, ladies. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. First off, I want to go to a camp like that. What Why the don't they fu- have camps like that for <clears throat> straight people? Well, I'm sure they do. I, or I, or, Nud- The nudist uh colony i want to go to camp that's what i'm saying (laughs) sex areas just to go and get fucked Mm -hmm. come camp (laughs) come camp (laughs) oh my god come camp (laughs) come camp with us and there's sex areas that first off that's awesome um that sounds like fun there should be like a do you want to get nutted in (laughs) don't want to get in. yeah Cool. Ass sections. Mm-hmm. They do have like hotels like that, Maggie. Like open or like um, I get, yeah, open relationship hotels or like swingers, swingers hotel. Like mm-hmm. where? There's one in Florida. They're where, everywhere. Uh-huh. Oh, we like, should go together. I mean, we wouldn't do nothing. Well, who else would I go with? <laughs> you true. go with sisters. There you go. <laughs> <I know. laughs> we wouldn't do anything together. No, and then people just walk around the hotel and like. It's all nude. I watched a documentary on it. It's all nude. So you can be like in the lobby, butt naked. They have like um, common areas with people playing games. Everybody's naked. And everybody's just fucking each other. You can fuck in any area of the hotel. Oh, P- public, my God. private. Yep. Oh, wow. I'd have to carry a rag to wipe down after every time I sat down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Leaving snail trails. First off, it, honey, it would be hard not to catch feels, you know, like you like this guy. You're camping together and fucking. You're fucking and camping, you know? That's intimate. Um, I don't know. If it were me, I would just... I would keep going to the camp. I would meet new people and just keep having yeah. fun. And yeah, it's so hard when you catch feelings. I know. Because that's all you fucking think about. And then if they're not, like, giving you that attention, you're like, oh. Yeah. I don't know. See how it goes with him. You don't have to cut him off completely, but definitely keep your option. Don't put don't put everything into him, maybe. Yeah. You know, don't put all your whole load into him. Save some for somebody else. <laughs> you know, that's what I've always said since I was a kid. Yeah. Spread the load. Spread the load. And spread the love. Right. Yeah, you, you'll meet so many other great camp cuddlers. Oh, yeah. Dude, I literally want to go to camp right now. And fuck. <laughs> Do you like? <laughs> and f- that sounds awesome. Where's this camp at? I know. We're going to go like crash it. I know. We're going to be like, hey, <laughs> we're here. Do you bring a tent? Or do you think they're just set up? He said cabin, didn't he? Cabins, yeah, tents, cabins. everything. It's a thing. Yeah. Everybody needs to nut, you know? That would be wild. I know. You're just walking around and everyone. That would be I would fun. love to experience that one, like, at least once in my life. And I've always said this, like, some sort of, like, some sort of, like. I'm down. I yeah. want to go so bad. Yeah. Maybe we can all go. Yeah. As a group. Let's all go. We don't have to fuck. Nobody, we don't, nobody's to touching nobody. But, like, at least, like, just go. I, if some like, married couple walked up and said, you want to fuck? I would probably say, yeah. Yeah, you would. Yeah. But you just would. think, if we weren't w- walking around fucking people, we'd look like weirdos. <laughs> we're all we're mm. just chucking it well, out. We, well, we don't have to fuck each other. Oh, but yeah, we can we can fuck you know somebody else that's there. Yeah, just bring your vape pen. We're just there for the picking. Yeah, just to see. We're just there to see. Just, yeah, you know, we don't have to do anything, but we can just see. Yeah, just see. What's we could walk up around there. naked. Uh huh. 
Oh, can you imagine walking around naked in public with, I would love that. I know, let's go. Just, I'd be checking out every swaying dick. Oh yeah, you'd have to. Can't not look. Because we did, we go to like the the spa and like all the women mm-hmm. are naked, but like seeing dicks mm-hmm. flop. <clears throat> Everybody. I wonder Dang if it. you can just hear all the dicks just smacking against the legs like. Yeah. I bet I'd that's it. just like a noise, let a me, vibration. Let me look that up. It's a swingers hotel. No, maybe, yeah, swingers hotel in Florida. You'd think it'd be a lot hotter than that, but it's not, you know, babe. It's a men's locker rooms. Mm-hmm. The dicks the, the are the probably dicks, sucked The dicks in. aren't good. Sometimes you accidentally catch a glance. Shriveled? Just not big, probably. Yeah, just not. Mm. The ones that flaunt them kind of aren't, like, appealing, it seems like. Secrets hideaway. Oh, no. Secrets hideaway, resort, and spa. Adults only. Oh. Where at in Florida? <clears throat> Deal. Deal. Where's it at? There's probably some wild people in Florida at these. Oh, I think, I think man. people come from all over. They have events there. They it's where, probably the only one in the Kissimmee, Florida. Huh. Well, we know where we're going on vacation. We're Is going it once a year. How many no, times a year? Every all day. Year. Every day. Oh, every day. Every day. We got to find a fun party. Yeah. <laughs> let's fucking go, dude. Let's go. I'll get a babysitter. Holy <laughs> shit. Go Maggie never orgy. gets a babysitter. <laughs> I don't. Never. I never get a babysitter, but I'll get a babysitter for that. Poor Greg. I'll be like, baby, ask off work. We're going on You vacation. can't invite him. What? <laughs> if we're, if I'm going to be walking oh, around naked, right. I don't want Greg there. No, you're right. It'll have to be just girls. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I forgot about that. Me, you, uh, us, Libby, Biffy, Tina. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Okay. Okay. You're right. I forgot about Let's that. Let's get it in the books. Me and Greg can go oh, separate. Yeah. Y'all go separate. Greg might actually like it. <sighs> you never know. He <laughs> may be like, oh, oh, I don't feel comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> you should tell him you're going to take him <laughs> on a resort on a and don't tell trip. him where you're going. And then y'all just show up to that resort. No, he'll be freaked out. I'll have to tell him before. So just he can say you're going prepare. on a Florida fishing trip. <laughs> fishing for pussy? Yeah, fishing for that smell. Yeah. You're not lying. You oh. are going fishing. I can't believe I just said fishing for pussy. Uh-huh. <laughs> it will smell like tuna, guaranteed. Wow. Fishing for pussy? Anyway, honeys, don't give up that cum camp. Don't you give up that cum camp. Keep having fun. Keep having fun, okay? Yeah, don't stress over... Just no. don't be reaching that much. You just have fun out there at cum camp. Love you. Love you, honeys. Hey, honeys. Lake Texoma resident here. Got a quick question for y'all. Um, I was wondering if y'all would ever try what's called an ovipositor dildo. It's this alien egg-laying dildo. Oh. So what you do is you take this dildo and it's got a very large opening at the top and you take the silicone eggs that come with it and you put the eggs inside and you put the dildo inside you and you squeeze it and put the silicone eggs inside of your pussy and then um, you basically the kink is it feels like you've been impregnated by an alien and you can kind of push out these silicone eggs and it comes with this slime stuff and basically like you're pushing out some alien eggs and um yeah, it's super. I don't know. I've never tried it. Whoa. Would I? Possibly. I, I'm i kind of like the age where I like the feeling of clots coming out. And um, so would I try it? Probably. Whoa. Was wondering if y'all would. Huh. Y'all are clot queens, and I thought I've heard it all. I'm down to have some baby aliens. Whoa. I've never heard of this. Me I seriously either. thought I've heard it all. What's this thing called? I, it, you know, would I do it? 
I would try it. What's that slime that comes with it? <laughs> the slime is what threw me off. Like? The slime is what threw me off. Oh, man, that's a lot. Would that's you try lot. it, Maggie? I don't know, man. How big are these alien balls? I know. How big are the eggs? Let me look up. And what's the... Is Are people into this? Yeah. It's a thing? It's kind of like anal beads. They're just not connected. How have we never heard of this? They're just trying to get you guys ready for when the real aliens get here. Y'all, I just got a text yeah. message. I just got a text up. message from Officer Daniels. He said, I'm I'm high at the Grand Ole Opry Hotel. Someone come pick me up. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> he did. I think he put me in that text. We're filming a pod, sir. I'm high. Um, uh, mm-hmm. I'm looking up egg dildo. Daniels likes the pen now. They got Ubers for that. Wow. Call, call an Uber. Put the, that. They're the size of, of eggs. Like a heart, like a normal egg? Yeah. Not a dinosaur a small, egg. Maybe a smaller. Not the, you know, but yeah. Do you put one in there at a time? I'm thinking three. I don't know. My brain just went to three. I would yeah, do it. Yeah, there's three, page. Well, I see three and four. Huh. I would do it if somebody asked me to. Yeah. If I was fucking some guy. If and somebody like, asked me If he was like, I'm into this yeah. and I want to see these eggs come out, yeah. then I would do it. But other than that. You wouldn't do it for yourself. I wouldn't do it for myself. Yeah. yeah. Just imagining laying an egg. <laughs> in the slime. You'd might, have to lay down a cloth. Might be cool. I don't know if I could push like that. Like push those eggs out. You could. You and think? what happens if you don't get them out? You go to the ER and they'll, you're like, hey, I got these alien eggs in my pussy. They'll hey, come out. I accidentally sat on these eggs. <laughs> I was walking across <laughs> the room and I slipped and <laughs> fell on these eggs. Just three of them. Th- three of them just. Up and there's down. all that slime already in there. Oh, God. <laughs> I slipped on my kid's slime and then. Stop. Landed I, on these eggs. Stop. That's wild. I love hearing shit like this, though. If y'all have more weird shit, call us up, dude. Were they colored? All different colors on there. Purple, pink, clear. Purple. Purple. People are spelling, this chick spelled purple on Facebook. P-U-R-P-B-U-L-L. Purple. Purple. I'm like, dude, that's the best way to spell it. That's funny. Yeah. Good times. Holy shit. Thanks for sharing that with us. I'm intrigued. Good times. We're ready, Brett. Good Mm -hmm. eggs. Here we go. So sick of managing your finances with buggy spreadsheets or have an inbox overflowing with bills or simply afraid of checking your bank statement, then it's time you take back control of your financial life with Rocket Money, formerly Truebill, our favorite financial app. So why did Truebill change its name to Rocket Money? We'll tell you what we heard. Truebill now backed by Rocket Companies, has grown from a bill management app into a full-on personal finance empowerment tool that helps over 3.4 million people with budgeting, lowering bills, canceling subscriptions, and more, saving each of their members on average $700 a year. And with all that growth comes the next evolution in Truebill's story, a new name. Bottom line Rocket Money is everything I've loved about Truebill, but with a fresh look and feel. Start canceling your unused subscriptions and save money at rocketmoney.com slash viral. That's rocketmoney.com slash viral. Or download the app from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Hey, honey. Hello. Old rock fucker here. Well, not too old, but 43 years old. That's not old. Uh, I've been kicking around the idea of starting some sort of YouTube site or, I don't know. I'm kind of afraid. So, I'm a 43-year-old disabled guy. I got crazy fucking stories from my life. Funny, just stuff you wouldn't expect. Well, anyways, so I thought about, you know, making the leap into the, the social media and sharing some of them, but I'm kind of scared of, like, the crazy people. And, like, I listen to you guys talk about, like, you know, people come up and grab your boobs or they say some crazy shit. I don't know. Sometimes I'm a little afraid for you all. I don't know. Maybe it's, like, the big brother thing in me. But I would 
do you guys like have like weirdos like try to do stuff to you or I don't know. I got a daughter, so I'm, that's one of the main reasons I'm afraid to venture out into the social media thing. And I know, like, Maggie's got a couple of daughters, and I don't know how she handles that. But, you know, I was just kind of wanting your opinion on, you know, what you guys do to stay safe or make you feel safe. or I don't know. I, I know you guys are really open. That's really cool, but I don't know. I don't think I should be that cool. <laughs> But anyways, I'd like to hear your opinion on it. And yeah. So, all right, well, thanks for the show. You guys are great. Talk to you later. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love him. I love his. If he had a <clears throat> show, or he w- his merch would say, but anyways. But anyways. I love that. But I would, anyways. I would listen to your channel, honeys. Uh, I would love to hear your stories, but... Yeah, I mean, that's the number one thing I get is people like, oh, I want to start a channel or I want to start TikToks, but I'm kind of scared to put myself out there for whatever reason. Yeah, that's the thing. If you put yourself out there, you know, like you're going to, a lot of people are going to feel that they deserve access to you. They you know? feel like they know you. Mm-hmm. And some people could overstep boundaries. Yeah. It's for me, it's not too crazy. In real life, um, you know, we we try not to, uh, you know, let people know where we live, obviously, if, if um, you know. If we're out and about at dinner or whatever, we all post after yep. or, like, yep. we don't really post in real time. Yep. You know, when we, mo- when we moved here to Nashville, I received oh, a thousand messages. What area are you guys moving to? I live here, too. And I know, like... I know like that person may have been completely innocent, but it's like, I can't say what area I'm living because word of mouth gets around and it gets, you know, the wrong, the a weirdo. It, you just don't want people, you know, we, we do go out of our way. Like we don't let like, you know, people we don't know come over. Cause that's the thing. It's, it's word of mouth. You know, one person says, Oh yeah, Chelsea, they live over here. That spreads like wildfire. You just don't want people knowing where you live. Then everyone's just driving past mm-hmm. and trying to see and, Uh uh-huh um I don't ever really feel unsafe um when I'm on tour it can get a little crazy um and that's just been here recent but we've you know we kind of didn't know how to handle that at first we've we you know sometimes we'll have people waiting outside our hotels and stuff and like we never post what hotel we're staying at so that's always you know How'd they find you? Yeah, and, it's, and and everyone I've met has been so nice. It's not even, I have no problem, you know. But I'm always like, yeah, you get one, you know. Well, yeah. you just never know. So mm-hmm. I'm, I stay pretty aware. If I'm out in public or anything, I'm just, yeah, I'm checking. Y- yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. We just don't post where we're at. If I'm in a hotel, I won't post inside. I try not to post inside the room because people recognize carpets and stuff. We just have to think about little stuff like that. But for the most part, I I do feel pretty safe. But we are, you know, we have uh, we have an alarm system at the house here. We, you know, we just do the normal stuff. We have some, yeah, some safety objects. I do need to get a bunch of pepper spray and yeah. stuff. I was thinking I need a good kit going. Mm-hmm. And I never try to be alone either. Yeah. Because. Hey, honey's hey. not alone here. Yeah. I think it's good to have people with mm-hmm. us kind of at all times, mm-hmm. just in case. Sometimes you go out and about, though. By myself? Don't you? All the time. Yeah. You, don't, you mean like you don't go to the grocery store by yourself and stuff? I don't feel quite safe. Really? I didn't know that. I guess I would, but. But you've always been that way. Mm-hmm. Not just because of this, right? Yeah, like I've always loved to just go shopping with people. I've always yeah. loved somebody with me. Yeah, because you don't want to drive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you need somebody driving for you. you can't yeah. see. You know, yeah. Yeah, that's so. another reason. See, I go by myself probably everywhere. Yeah, that trips me out. Whoa. You know, I had read an article years ago that Stevie Nicks said that she, for her safety, she has not been anywhere by herself since 1975. And I thought that's wild. Me. Wild. <laughs> no, I I do everything everything by myself. Unless I want to go to the Cheesecake Factory, then I call you sluts up. Yeah. 
Well, start bringing somebody. Huh. Interesting. No, honeys, please don't worry about us. We, we, uh, we'll be all right. You know, things is getting a little weird, but not in a bad way. We'll be all right. Oh, yeah. And we, we have the best followers and, yeah. you know, they even look out for us. Yes. <laughs> too. So. Yeah. Yeah, we're all good. Thanks yeah. for caring, though. Like. That's very nice. It is. That's very sketch. nice. But if you start your channel, just. Yeah. Be, just be consistent and have a good time and just love what you're doing. Exactly. Love, love you, honeys. Yeah, love you, honeys. One more question. This is the last one. All right. Last question. Shorter pod today. Hey, honeys. Maybe depressed here. Anyway, me and my boyfriend just broke up, and I am starting therapy next week. Um, I haven't told anybody about it just because I feel like, what are they going to think of me? So my question is, have you guys ever been in therapy? Does it help? Um, yeah, that's it. Honeys. Well, um, you know, I don't know whether to say congratulations on the breakup or if you're obviously having a hard time, but if you are having a hard time, I'm glad you're, you know, doing something about it and talking to someone. Um, I have, Greg and I have been to therapy. Um, I like, I mean, I liked it. It helped us. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with, with going helping to, yourself. Not even a little bit. I mean, I actually encourage it. Some people absolutely do not want to talk to somebody. Um, they don't feel they need to. That's fine. But if you feel like you do, do need to, I think you should. It is weird, like, it, how people don't want to tell people because mm -hmm. those people will judge them for doing something that will help them. Right. Well, and then talking and, to someone, sometimes you need a different, you need someone on the outside. Yeah, because sometimes you don't have the right people to tell things to. Right. And if you are worried about your family's judgment, me personally, I wouldn't tell them. I just they, feel like yeah, they don't even need deserve I, to know. I just feel like it's not their business. Mm -hmm. If you feel, oh, they're, they're going to judge me, then I wouldn't say I wouldn't say a word, you know, because a lot of people in their brain, they think, oh, if anybody is going to therapy, something's wrong with them. Yeah. Like. They have a mental illness, they this, they that, like they judge you for, it's, yeah. it's such a weird mindset, but I don't, I think anything that will help you is, and that's the best for you, fucking do it. Well, the judgment just that people give other people just in general, I will never wrap my brain around, but yeah, I could, I could never be like, oh, you're going to therapy, like, and say something negative about it. <laughs> what kind of, I would be a huge cunt. Mm-hmm. You know, I've and, thought about going to therapy just for like all the death I've experienced in my life. But then I'm like, I can't, I don't know if it's for me to go talk to somebody else. I feel like the podcast kind of is like my therapy or yeah. just talking to you guys or, you know, yeah. I can't, I feel like it would stress me out more to have to go talk to somebody really? else. Yeah. That's just me though. Hmm. I know it could help out a lot of, yeah, and it does help out a lot of people. Well, there are therapists that like specialize in your type of stuff mm -hmm. or, spe you know, specialize in this. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. I didn't like our, ther we had, it. we went through a couple different therapists. We went probably five years ago. Um, the first therapist we went to never said a word. What? So like we would go and talk. And he would literally just be sitting there writing our notepad. He would say three words the entire session. And I didn't like that. I wanted someone, I wanted him to be like, okay. Like engage in yes, the conversation. Yes, ask his questions. Why Why are you saying that? If he did, you know what I mean? Like some, I wanted some sort of, and Greg liked the guy. And I was like, no, nah, it's not working. So we found someone, and I've heard that people go through until you find the right therapist for you. Oh, honey's. Don't worry about, I wouldn't say a word. Yeah, do you. Yeah, I hate that you even have to, you know, feel like they're going to judge you. No, I wouldn't worry about that at all. You're doing something to better yourself, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And time will heal. You got this. Yeah. We love you. Break Thanks for calling suck, in. But you got it. Yeah. 
Scotty. Right. That so, was the last call, honeys? Yes. yes. Wow. That's the last call. Thank you, everyone, for calling in, and thank you for listening and being here. Make sure to smash that download button. Please, <laughs> download the pod if you're listening. It really, really helps us out. It really helps us out in numbers, makes us look good. Makes us feel good. Uh-huh. It's like an affirmation. Exactly. I like that. And um, I was going to say something else. What was I going to say? Oh, sorry, this is a short pod. We got some longer ones coming. Like we said, we've been crazy busy. And don't forget, this whole month, if you use code LEANBACK for listeners only, if you use code LEANBACK, you get 25% off all pod merch at viralpodcast.co. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That was the first I've ever heard you say that. That was wild. Oh, my. Wild. I used to say that in high school all the time. Like, I go back and look at my old Facebook comments. Holy oh. shit. That's embarrassing. That's what? No. Saying, yeah, buddy, and and money. <laughs> <laughs> I would put money just in all caps. That pisses me off. And I would say, you like, our whole high school would go, you so money. Oh, my gosh. That's embarrassing. Our high school would go, Nas like, <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> They'd go, hey, what's for lunch? Nas like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, do we have homework? Nas like, wait. For years, so everybody you're not would saying say that. Like, Nas like, uh, we're saying, no, nah, it's like. like. Like, I'm joking. Yeah. Like, your pants are ugly, Nas like. Somebody started it, Colt Kretschmeyer. People are going to go find that motherfucker and say Nos like. <laughs> and it swept over the school. And even I was saying Nos like. <laughs> <laughs> we all said Nos like. Nos like. <laughs> oh, my God. Wild. That's funny. Yeah. Call us in and uh, tell us some. Nos like. Nos like funny shit and <laughs> whatever. Nos Money. Like. Money. Yeah, buddy. At... <laughs> At four four two seven 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 three 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 one. And always remember, you're doing great. You're looking good. And, and fuck, fuck what, what everybody, everybody else thinks. thinks. Get ready. Ready, ready, ready. We're going viral. Get ready. ready, ready, ready. We're going viral.